First, raise the engine off the travel bracket. Trim the motor up and then flip the latch out. Now you can use the trim to lower the motor, which must be in the water when you start it or else it could overheat. The fuel primer bulb pressurizes the line between the gas tank and the engine. Make sure you pump it several times until it feels like there's no more air in the line. The lever on top of the engine control unit controls the RPM in neutral, so basically you raise it to give it gas or lower it to reduce it to idle. When you turn the ignition on, you should see voltage at the voltmeter. It should be approximately 13 volts. To prime the engine, hold the key in as you turn it. I'm showing how it moves in and out in this, but you don't have to actually pump the key, just hold the key in and turn it. The engine's already hot this time, so I won't need to prime it. If it gives you trouble starting, just raise the RPM lever a little bit. Don't pull it up all the way because that might over rev the engine, but that way it'll uh, keep the engine going. Once the engine's running, you can reduce the lever to idle, and then you're ready to use the boat. To shut off the engine, just turn the key to the left, and it will shut down on its own.